YouTube and welcome. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Kat and you're watching Planning Calm. And here in this channel, I love, love, love to share with you all the ways I can help you plan your way to calm. Now in this video, I'm going to share with you <laughs> my current Happy Planner collection I'm located in Canada where things tend to be a little bit more expensive due to shipping and all sorts of things and so the happy planner has always been uh, an affordable attainable accessible planner for the canadian planner enthusiasts so over the years i have used and loved the happy planner now this year i have kind of gone out of my comfort zone with the happy planner and i've used and loved other planners but the happy planner is something i always go back to now i know Currently, there is a new launch with new planners coming up and new sticker collections and all the things and people are going out and buying all that. To be honest with you, I'm not going out and buying any collections. One, because I have a whole, <laughs> whole bucket load of stickers from the Happy Planner that I need to work through. Two, I'm really trying to watch my spending and my budget in terms of my planner hobby. And so I'm not looking to purchase any more goods. And three, I want to uh, just love what I have and enjoy what I have and not always feel like I have to chase after the next thing. Now this planner here is the 2022-2023 vertical planner. And this planner, I kind of use off and on, but this is the vertical planner and this is the standard size planner. So uh, the dimensions I'll put on the screen here for you, but this is kind of the all encompassing planner. Now this type of planner is great if you are a sticker planner, I've, in my opinion. If you have the Happy Planner stickers and you like to kind of lay them down, and if you're wondering kind of what I'm getting at here, uh, planning with Bumble, Heather Kell, uh, ladies that I've loved and watched for years, they've done excellent jobs in showing and teaching us how to use and decorate and function with the Happy Planner. And I just, I love them for it because they've taught me how to use this layout effectively. But the vertical layout is great because it basically breaks down your day. Um, some people use it for morning, afternoon, and evening. Some people like to use this as a meal plan, so breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Re regardless of however you use it, this is probably one of the most versatile layouts because it's plain, and it's plain enough to uh, kind of customize it the way you want. Now this teacher planner I picked up not too long ago. Uh, at the time I was a teacher, a high school teacher, a high school humanities teacher, and so I had used this for my teacher planner. However, in the fall I received a new position in a post-secondary institution where this didn't apply because I wasn't really teaching as much as I was before. And so I'm still on the hunt of how to use this. I think I'm gonna do a separate video. However, what I did wanna show you is with the Happy Planner teacher layout, it is designed for the teacher in mind. And so what you can do with this is the layout allows you for subjects, so if you are a teacher and you teach various subjects, so English, math, science, social studies, etc., you can place those at the top. If you're somebody who is an elementary teacher, you can also pick and put the different types of topics or things that you're going to be covering. But it gives you a lot of room and allows you for a lot of room for those subjects and also for the incidental teacher teacher things, um, the incidental teacher things. There we go, <laughs> tongue tied there. Things like PD days, staff meetings, prep time information, any of those things that you wanna put in there, there's also lots of room for that as well. And so this makes the teacher planner by the Happy Planner very versatile as well. If you like to use stickers, you can, but for me, I didn't really use a lot of stickers in this planner when I was using it as a teacher because there just wasn't time. <laughs> You're just trying to write the things out as fast as you can. And this provides uh, the lines and the layout just to make it a whole lot easier. So that I like to use is my faith planner. The, this is uh, probably one of my latest acquisitions. It is a faith planner in that uh, you can use this to kind of plan out uh, how you want to kind of organize your faith planning. Now this 
is a unique layout. It's a one that I'm not really used to because I haven't really had this one in a long time or I've never seen this one before, but uh, I'm still trying to get the hang of it. So with the Faith Planners, again, it offers that happy planner flexibility. Up here, you can write and put in your scripture readings, your keywords that you wanna study for your Bible study, any observations that you made in the scripture, and any applications that you want to do. Again, I'm not really sure how this layout will work with my particular faith planning, but it's also like, you know, flexible enough that you can tweak it, add some stickers, add some washi to customize it to make it your own. So there's that. And the next up, kind of in the vein of the Faith Planner, is a journaling planner. Now this one here, if you haven't seen my reel, I just did one recently because I was cleaning out my office and lo and behold, I discovered this. Don't let the sticker fool you. I did not pay $30 for this planner. I actually got it on clearance at the end of December, I believe, at Michael's. And I just kind of had it because I wasn't sure if I was going back into planning, et cetera, et cetera. But I'm, as you know, I'm head into planning and I actually really love this planner. So I got this planner for about 60 or 70% off and I'm so happy I did. It is great. What I love about this planner, the journaling planner, is that there's no date, so you can date it whenever you want. If you, you don't have to feel committed to planning in it every day, but it's almost like a junk journal slash uh, mood tracker slash self-care journal. It's a, it's a whole lot of things in one. And that's one of the things I love about the Happy Planner is that they're so versatile in the ways you can use them. So this one is great here if you're at Michael's and you know you see this on clearance definitely pick this up because it's so comprehensive it has so many great things in here it gives you opportunities to doodle to do self-care it, it's just fabulous and as you know i use this uh, platform to help manage my anxiety plan your way to calm and this is a great tool to help do that and again you know you can use this whenever you want so jump back in and use this, jump out if you're using something else. But this is such a great way to to help your to help keep your uh, anxiety and your mental health in check. It also comes with some doodling pages, some grid pages as well. All in all, totally satisfied with this planner. And you can use stickers if you want. You can use markers, tombos. You know, great 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 planner so i love that is my uh big boy this is my big boy this is the uh happy planner big in the dashboard layout and i got this also on clearance way back in january i want to say and i've started using this as my social media planner now what i love about this is that it is in the dashboard layout and this is one of my favorite layouts now the dashboard layout is just it, it gives you it's for you know you have certain types of planning so if you are a micro planner so somebody who's really into this fine details this is fantastic because it breaks down your week in such a way that you can really hone in on the things that you need to, things that are important, things that you are planning for, things that you have to do, any notes. And then it also breaks down if you have any act actions or activities each day of the week. And then they have a spot for each day as well. And this would be great, again, if you were uh, a homemaker, somebody who stays home and is managing kids' schedules, meal planning, meal prepping. If you're a teacher and you want to kind of break up your week to make it more, you know, make it make sense for you. Um, if you are somebody who's in business or accounting, you have lots of meetings, whatever the case is, this layout will help you with no matter what you have to do. It's so fantastic. I am partial to the dashboard layout. I love it. And Heather Kell does a fantastic job of showing you the different ways you can work with this dashboard layout. And stay tuned to the channel because I will be going through this planner in more detail 
and showing you how I use it as my social media planner. But the dashboard layout is where it's at for me. I love it. And yes, I, I don't know why, but I always tend to keep these things on my planners for months and months and months but that's All it right. and my last planner that i want to showcase here is another big one this is the 2023 big planner from happy planner in the vertical layout this planner i want to show you because i picked it up in early january when i started my restarted my planner journey again i mean i've been a lifelong lifer planner and i saw this on clearance and i had to snatch it and i haven't decided what i'm going to use this planner for Definitely, I have lots of things I can use it for, but it is such a great planner, such a great planner. Now, if you're somebody who has a lot to manage, you have a lot of things going on, this, this format will will give you everything that you need and more. So if you want to write, if you are a content creator and you want to, you know, planning your planner, this gives you lots of room. You can use stickers, you can use washi tape, you can use all the things you know, it is such a great planner. And also here too, it gives you monthly views with lots of space because again, it is the big format for the happy planner, but it also gives you, you know, the, the pre month startup. So you have lots of room to pre plan, set your priorities and your goals, capture important dates and events and so on. Again, quintessential planner for the busy person or not so busy person. If you just like to, to make a doodle page and doodle, whatever your flavor, whatever your, you know, your style of planning, I'm definitely sure that the happy planner has what you need to get all your planning needs done. Like I said, I've been a huge, huge fan of happy planner for many, many years. And for me, being a Canadian who doesn't always have access to various planners just because of my location, this is a great alternative if you want to get into the planner game and have fun with planning, but you don't want to break the bank. Now, I do realize that with this new launch, a lot of things have changed, including the pricing to reflect inflation and things like that. So shop wisely, friends. Um, use discounts where you can and don't break the bank when it comes to sharing and participating in your love of planning. But I did want to share my planner, Happy Planner Collection with you and to go through the various layouts that may work with your planning needs. So I hope you enjoy it. If you did, don't forget to do all the things. And until next time, my friends, take care be well and be blessed and i will see y'all in the next video bye bye baby you give me ice and fire you're giving me wind and rain you're some kind of butterfly baby you give me this night up you whip up my appetite don't leave me here.